Hello everyone, in this video we will see about traffic control devices, channelization and rotaries. Often you observe that if there is an intersection, there are lot of conflicts possible. So how to control these conflicts? For this only we have traffic control devices, channelization, rotaries etc. So we can define them in three levels. First level is no controls like leaving them uncontrolled. You can control little bit by signs and markings by asking them, them to go slow or stop and go conditions like that. Second level is semi-control, little bit control by using channelization and rotaries. So this also we will see in the upcoming slides. And the third level is the highest level which is using traffic signal. You ask them entirely to stop and you leave the other vehicles then you ask these people to go so that is active control another idea for active control is great separated intersections suppose there are two roads passing like this you provide a bridge so that is great separated you are separating one grade from another grade this is at a higher grade and this is at a lower grade so that is great separated intersection now we will see about signs so there are three different types of signs. One is regulatory sign, another is warning sign and the third is informative sign. Regulatory signs are like speed limit or you can ask them to give way or stop. These two are used in intersections. Often you, uh, not often, the, you see a red border and a white background and the Writ, uh, writing is in black so this is usual for sign boards warning signs warning signs are usually triangular in shapes these are like caution signs the drivers may have to follow this regulatory signs are mandatory signs so this is like right turn is approaching or you say there is no right turn and you can warn them that a railway crossing is approaching. So these are warning, warning signs. The third set is informative signs which provide information to you. Like you may have observed while going to a different city how much distance is left. Usually it is given in a green board. And have you observed this petrol, petrol pump signs are blue in color. If you have observed this, please click yes here. Maybe you have observed while going to different places. So these are the three different types of signs which you need to know. Channelization. Channelization is a raised area to guide the vehicles. Suppose this is a road without channelization. So one vehicle goes left here other vehicle through movement so there is a conflict point here so if you give a raised area to guide the vehicles the conflict area is reduced like this so when you go left turn you follow a guided path like this and through movement is like this so the conflict area is reduced to a very small area so that is why we have channelization Rotaries. The idea of a rotary is to convert the major conflicts into minor conflicts. Let us see how. So when you are coming for a through movement, you go like this. And so this through conflict becomes a weaving conflict and also when you go have to go right from here so here it becomes a merging conflict and this is a diverging conflict every conflict is converted to merging diverging and weaving conflicts so the number of conflicts are minimized that is the idea of a rotary the terms of the rotary are this is the central island so this is the radius of a central island and this is the and this is the entry radius and this is the exit radius so radius is provided so that the vehicles slow down while entering 
and while leaving they will leave like this the entry exit and island radius depends on the design speed like any vehicle which comes here reduces their speed so that is the design speed for which the rotary is designed so entry exit and island radius depends on design speed super elevation and friction factor the exit radius is always the exit radius is always greater than the entry radius because while exiting the vehicles discharge at a higher rate i mean they go at a higher speed and while entering they have to slow down so the entry radius is smaller than the exit radius i hope you guys enjoyed the video please subscribe our channel to continue watching more thank you guys